Good morning, children. This is Priya, your social man. Today we are going to learn lesson 2, temperate zones of the world. Already we learned in the last class about the factors which one affect the climate, isn't it? Okay, so today we have to continue this one. So, in this temperate zones of the world, in this lesson, we are going to study about the three heat zones of the world. We have how many zones? Three heat zones, that is three temperature zones we have. The heat zones of the earth are determined by the amount of sunlight they receive. The three heat zones are the torrid zone, temperate zone and the frigid zone. The, these zones are found in both northern and southern hemispheres. These zones are distributed as belt running horizontally around the world. First of all, we are going to learn about the torrid zone. The torrid zone located between the two tropic of two tropics. That is, you know very well about the tropics, isn't it? Yeah, the northern side you have. What is the tropic name of the northern side? Yes, it is the tropic of cancer. Very good. Southern side? Yeah, it's a tropic of Capricorn. So, the region located between the two tropics has a tropical or hot and humid climate. This region are called torrid zone. The sun rays are direct and strongest in this region. Most of Africa, southern part of India, Indonesia, northern part of South America and North Australia fall in this zone. Next one, we are going to learn about the temperate zone. Temperate zone located between the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle in the Northern Hemisphere. And the Southern Hemisphere in between the Tropic of Capricorn and the Arctic Circle. The place, the temperate zone have moderate climate throughout the year. The climate is neither too hot nor too cold. The temperate zone lies between the torrid and frigid zones. Europe, Great Britain, Central Asia, Northern part of India, Southern Australia, New Zealand and the southern part of the America lie in this zone. Now we are going to learn about the frigid zone. In the northern hemisphere, the frigid zone lies between the Arctic Circle and North Pole. In the southern hemisphere, the frigid zone lies between the Antarctic Circle and the South Pole. This zone remains extremely cold throughout the year. The year, most of the places in the frigid zone remains covered with snow or ice. Northern Canada, large portion of Greenland, Northern Russia, Arctic Ocean and Antarctic lie in this zone. Okay children, now you got a very great idea about the 
temperature zones of the world. Isn't it? Okay, children. Thank you. We will see in the next class. Thank you, children.